Hi, my name is Rob Matthews. I'm a project manager and writer at Eurocom Entertainment Software, the developers of GoldenEye Reloaded. Our final video diary is going to show you MI6 Ops, a brand new single player game mode that we've created, featuring a competitive aspect by way of online leaderboards integrated into the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. There are four distinct game types in MI6 Ops, Elimination, Defense, Stealth and Assault. We're going to begin the video by showing you an example of Elimination set in the jungle level. Once the player has picked a game type and map, we're taken into an option screen where you can adjust up to 13 modifiers. By changing a modifier, you can see how it will affect the score awarded to you at the end of the game. So if you want to go for big scores, you'll adjust the settings to make the game more difficult, but in turn, your potential score will be much higher. So we've tweaked some of the settings and have also activated paintball mode. Depending on your mood, you could make the game really hard with ultra-aggressive and accurate enemies, or super fun. RPGs with Ragdoll is my favourite combo. Bond, look for additional weaponry before you engage the enemy. The first thing we need to do is find some weapons. There are lots of weapon caches placed around the level, so you should never run out of firepower. Hostiles are heading your way, 007. Thinking like Bond would, we'll try and use the environment to our advantage. By shooting the fuel tanks on the truck, we've taken out four bad guys straight away. The enemy counter in the top right of the screen tracks your progress. Now it's a case of sweeping through the map as quickly as possible, eliminating the enemy and staying alive. If Bond dies, then it's game over and you must restart the level. I'm picking up 40 targets, 007. While we continue to hunt down the remaining enemies, I'll just briefly mention the other game types within MI6 Ops. Stealth. This will appeal to players who love sneaking around. This is all about using the silence weapons and melee takedowns to avoid raising the alarm. Assault. You must progress through the map and attack a heavily defended position. And finally, defense. The objective here is to download data from a console whilst defending it from the enemy. We're going to jump to some footage to of a defense game being played. We need to get some weapons, then head out into the level to find one of the three consoles that we need to download data from. We can use the objective markers to find the consoles. When we start the download, a timer will appear in the top right of the screen. This is the amount of time required to download the data. The bar to the left of the timer is the amount of damage done to the console by the enemy. To defend the area, we've hacked this drone gun to help protect the console. This allows us to venture out and take the fight to the enemy in an effort to prevent them from getting close to the active console. To touch back on something I mentioned earlier in the video, I want to briefly talk about the online functionality featured in MI6 Ops. We've really tried to push the competitive aspect of this game mode by encouraging players to set high scores on the leaderboards and then see how they rank against other players from across the world. Not only can you view the scores, you can also use the customised modifiers that we use to obtain the score. If you think you can do better, you can click on the details and have those settings copied back to your own console, allowing you to play the exact same game that someone else created in an effort to beat their score. GoldenEye Reloaded will be available in stores on November 1st in North America and November 4th in Europe. We're going to wrap this video diary up now. The team at Eurocom have had an incredible time making GoldenEye Reloaded. We're all huge Bond fans and we hope that you enjoy playing the game. Thank you for watching and goodbye.